Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. I have in front of me right now the Arma Limitless. The vehicle that's doing speed records uh, on the market right now. I heard people doing close to 147 miles an hour in, uh, in plus, plus, plus. Um, it is a speed machine, a speed demon direct competition to the X01 from Traxxas. Now this vehicle here has been loaned to me uh, from a friend. I would say thank you to Scott for letting me use this machine here. Basically this vehicle here, it comes as a roller, no electronics on it. Basically what you see is what you get. Minus electronics in a second or two, it will remove the cab. Uh, the only the other thing that was removed off this vehicle here is the, uh, the downforce that goes in front of here. Even myself, uh, even the owner and other people looking at it, it looks better without these guys on it. That's one of the reasons why this was removed. Now it has been used. Uh, the front downforcer has been bent. Like I said, I do have a video on my channel uh, just ripping in front of uh, the Great Hobbies uh, Ottawa store. It's a beast. It's fun. Let's open the cab and then show what's inside. You do have three body clips. One, one, two, one, one, three, should I say? <clears throat> and we have the interior of this vehicle. Basically what uh, Scott went with, woo, <laughs> what he went with was <laughs> Tekken T8 Gen 3 motor. If I remember correctly, this is a 2250 or 2200 kV motor. He has the Hobbywing Max 8, if I remember correctly. Uh, he has the Power HD LW20. It is a waterproof speed control. Doesn't need a waterproof speed control in the speed control uh, servo, should I say? Sorry about that. But has a lot of torque. He wanted to make sure this vehicle could be able to turn. You do have a compartment for two batteries. And one of the biggest new things about Arma, what they did with the uh, all pretty much a Gen 4s, is the center brace. That's literally awesome. It reinforced the chassis that you cannot imagine the flex this guys are having. I heard there's a lot of people complaining that their physical aluminum chassis are bending in half when they're jumping it and so on. Adding this stability to it, it drastically reinforced the chassis. Now let's say you do have an older version of the Arma. Let's say you have uh, the Creighton, Gen 1, Gen 2, even Gen 3. These guys, you can add them to them. This is one thing I do love what Arma decided to do is design this bar to be able to be added to the other vehicles. It's not something that you have to turn around and buy a new generation to be able to add this. You'll need the center bar. You'll need the holders, front and rear, um, the eyelets, plus the four mil bolt that goes in the middle and front and back to be able to add this for sure if you go to your local hobby shop and you ask them they'll be able to provide that for you for sure now right now at this moment filming this video uh the limitless is back ordered i'm assuming that rmo cannot fill the demand correctly not i shouldn't say correctly it just can do the demand there's a lot of people want the want this vehicle here. The middle part here 
is a lot close to the infraction minus the back diffuser and wing here and the front diffuser and you can say the front wing but besides that super great vehicle we do have the d boots 17 mil hubs uh homes tires on it that's the tire that comes with it and if i remember correctly these guys here they may like they may not smoke i heard through uh certain people telling me that that was a physical error that arma did and i heard they wanted to correct it i would say not to because it is awesome you're flying down and your machine starts smoking the tires like a real one the other thing that arma did that not a lot of people know these holes here are made to be able to put screws in basically when you're going down your street when it's getting a little bit darker outside these will start rubbing and create sparks another awesome way to just to add something add a flare to your vehicle now the chassis is made to be able to carry the air fill the center and diffuse them over these the louvers um, them chassis it has front diff rear diff no center diff in this one here basically the middle is a it's locked to give power equal to front and rear of this vehicle it is a mid-engine instead of being a back engine uh again love this vehicle and we should soon be able to have more, a little bit more videos of this one guy running and unfortunately right now uh i am in canada and winter is upon us unfortunately and they don't make snow tires for this guy but i heard what he wants to do put some spikes in it and maybe maybe run it this winter we'll see there you go this is the arma limitless 80 miles plus vehicle if you guys have any questions or comment post them below i'd be gladly to answer you guys and if you like this video hit that thumbs up in the corner i would greatly greatly appreciate that and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to get notified next time i upload a video hit that bell in the corner here you'll be notified next time i upload thank you very much